guys i can't believe i'm actually doing this today um i still got a beautiful tan from cancun i did get married um about on june 10th in cancun i was there for about 10 days so i think this video will be going up before um all my wedding content so please stay tuned but today we are doing something very very exciting and if you are new to my channel hi my name is chantelle and i vlog about a whole bunch of things i am a wife now um i am still trying to live a, le a healthy lifestyle and i started a permanent jewelry business back in early march so today we are doing something very very exciting i cannot believe that this has brought me to today right before i left i drove up over some um apartment buildings and not apartment buildings i'm sorry well um office buildings and i saw that they had some studios for and i'm like you know what let me go check it out my lovely husband is amazing and he kind of did all of the talking with the real estate agent and today we are finally getting to look at it this was way before even we left uh to cancun that we have been planning the showing of the actual studio so we are now officially on the hunt for a permanent jewelry studio for my business for ex vida and i want you guys to come along with us and actually see them i'm not 100 percent sure if we're gonna actually use this one um and start renting it out i just wanted to kind of start seeing places this is about a good 25 minute drive from my actual house the price is good but I need to see it um, in person and just see if I can envision myself there. And I'm excited to bring you guys along to this journey. And, um, you know, if, if you are thinking of doing permanent jewelry, then please go ahead and watch some of my previous videos. I'm going to start blogging a lot more. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm going to bring you along. I'm actually currently waiting for my husband because we drove two separate cars. And... Um, I can't wait to show you guys. I just, I can't believe I'm actually here. So let's get to it. Hold up y'all. Let me put some freaking AC up in this car. Cause it is hot. Anyway, um, I it's been a few days since the last clips I um, put in in this video of me kind of looking at some places. Well, a lot of that stuff, like here's an update, a lot of that stuff won't be ready until September. So I'm still keeping my options open. They do need a lot of work, so I'm kind of weighing my um, options and I wanna see a couple more places just to see what's a good fit and the location is at, um, I would prefer in my city. It's This is about like 20 minutes from where I live. It's in the same district, but not like completely far away. So I'm still I'm still thinking about it. And um, so today, it's Friday, tomorrow I have a pop-up event. So I have to get a lot of things ready. You guys, please ignore my face. I'm like just, I don't know. We're just going through it right now. My face is going through it um so yeah we have to run errands i some point in time may or may not need to go to staples um to print some stuff out and i need to handle these nails they're my wedding nails um they're you know thrown out a little bit because my wedding has been it's almost been two weeks i'm so sad but um i can do it with nails i just think that these are too long so i kind of need to cut them down or either take them off i haven't decided yet i think once I get to the nail salon, I'm like, all right, let's cut them off. But if not, just I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I need to go to the bank um, to deposit some cash. And I need just to really just chill out for the rest of the day, get ready for tomorrow. So I have to get ready for tomorrow because I do have a pop-up at a salon. Um, salons have definitely been my bread and butter. Um, I actually really enjoy going to salons because I know... I don't know i feel like i vibe a lot with their clientele and i vibe a lot with um the hairstylist and this particular one my one a friend and my hairstylist is also my friend 
um she works there so i'm so excited to do a pop-up there this i've planned this pop-up for more than a month and a half um so i'm gonna bring you guys along tomorrow um hopefully Hey guys, it's me from the future. Come check out my setup. Here I have my skin to pay, my pricing, chains, and charms. As you can see, I don't have thousands of charms and thousands of chains. I am still in the beginning stages. So sometimes starting small is okay. Um, and yeah, here's my little setup, my welder. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys my welding glasses. Just, you know, me being crazy and silly. Um, my lighting there. I love that lamp. I will have an Amazon storefront um, soon, but yeah, that's exactly what I use for my pop-ups. The rest of the black stuff that, I'm, that won't come off with this will come off in the shower. Okay. And um, I'm going to give you an aftercare kit, and it comes with like a little eyelash brush. So the best way for you to clean it at home, I usually in the shower I use antibacterial soap like Dial. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of just quickly rinse it. But like maybe once a month with Dawn dish soap, everyone has Dawn dish soap at home. Mm -hmm. And just clean it length by length, and it'll give that shine back. Okay. Gonna, I haven't even asked if you if this feels comfortable. Can I actually have you pull it all the way up? Oh, I'm it's sorry. okay. No, you're good. It's already on there. I could do it a little bit looser or a little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. Okay. You want it a little bit? So let me see. Can you pick it up all the way? All right. We could do it a little bit tighter. I don't recommend it being all like super tight because you have to remember as we right. eat salt, our body kind of inches up a little bit. So I can can do a little bit tighter. Okay. So let's try a bit tighter. You don't do any um, any sports, right? No. Okay. I just have to ask since you went a little bit tighter. Mm hmm So that being like hella tight. What part of Texas? Um, San Angelo. Where is that near? It's near, uh, it's west Texas, so it's more towards. Like what airport did you fly into? 
we flew into Dallas, but then we took a smaller plane, like a teeny tiny plane. Oh sure. To Yo, San Texas is huge. It is. It's I mean any town in any direction is a couple hours away. That is it's crazy to think how big Texas is. Yeah. It takes like what, fourteen hours to drive through Texas from the farthest point? I don't know. Or something like that. I feel like it would take more. It's crazy. All right, guys, so I just finished up the pop-up. Um, my hair is crazy. You could tell I had a busy day. It went really well. Um, we ended up making about 600 And, um, again, that's not profit because, you know, you have to buy more jeans. You have to do this. You have to, you have to pay commission, all of that. So, um, yeah, usually with salons, I've had, like, a few mix where I pay commission or where we create this event and it's usually where I pay commission but if it's kind of more of a pop-up pop -pop basis and each salon is different some salons have employees just that just work there and other salons rent out chairs and so the one that I was just at is more of a rental basis so I did have to pay commission um that was about 125 so um yeah now I have to go home and structure out the payments and make sure that I have money for chains and you know I have a really big event coming up next week so a lot of that is pouring into the event that I do have so um just keep it know it's like you know that this is what happens is when you need to get clientele you need to get more exposure more brand awareness you have to be okay to pay commissions if you are looking into this um so you know it's cool I'm really happy I liked the vibe in there the girls were great um it's so funny how small the world is my mom used to uh, work with these um, girls that came in at the very last, literally. They came in at 3 and I took them and I was done with them in about like 10-15 minutes and they got anklets and um, I'll insert a picture somewhere over here. But yeah, they were my mom's friends and it was so cool because as soon as she saw me she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's you. Like it was, it was great to see that my media, like my marketing efforts online actually resemble like, actually come out when people come to a pop-up event or um anything that i'm having with permanent jewelry and they just tell me like oh it's you like i can't believe it like your marketing is so great like it just feels good when people are like oh i saw you on instagram my friend sent me a picture um or video of your work and we needed to come find you and and get inkling and so that feels amazing like that always feels great um so yeah we had i couldn't get too much clips and um i was by myself so if i had someone there i would have loved for them to have to capture the, the whole thing but it's okay it's okay and right now i'm starving marvin i haven't eaten anything and i'm at wendy's i'm gonna get something on the i'm gonna get french fries i'm just gonna try not to get french fries I just got a dave's um double just a sandwich i'm just so i need to get back on my diet life because I have been just really relaxing with it. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, just, I just um, substituted. No, not substituted. What am I saying? Ugh, I'm so tired already. Um, I just got a sandwich. And that's what I'm going to eat. That should hold me through. I think tonight my husband and I will be maybe doing a little dinner somewhere. Um, and yeah, tomorrow I do get my lashes done. Because you could tell my lashes are hurting so i'm excited about that um for my wedding i got like a really crazy um volume set and now i'm gonna do more of a hybrid um so i'm excited for that lashes just make life like lashes just put you together um you know i'm a little crazy right now but like during the week it's just nice because i'm trying not to put too much makeup i want to preserve my skin because i am getting older um, and yeah, like I guess you can see, you know, I've had a few breakouts because, you know, I'm just got over that time of the month, but I'm excited to eat guys because I did not eat. I woke up at the last minute, got ready and to be there on time. And so, you know, that's definitely on my fault. And, um, yeah, Monday, actually, they opened up a new gym where I live and, um, it's Crunch Fitness and I'm actually so excited to go and work out. Uh, because the gym I was at, it's just been there since I was 17, so it's been more than like 10 years that I've been a member there, and like, I don't know, like, I'm just ready for a new scenery. Um, sometimes I feel like it's back in high school, so there's that. So we ended back at our favorite place, back, but this time we're not at the bar. We got little, um, ground beef empanadas. How do you, how do you think it was? What do you think? 
This yeah. is good. But the melted cheese just burned my lip. Yeah. Let's see. It is hot, but it's good.